geologist. I came here 31 years ago to study whales. But the whales are doing so poorly, they can't carry their calves full term due to the loss of salmon in the Fraser River. This is a, a major scientific paper that was published a few days ago. And the problem with salmon farms is that they amplify disease, they pour it over the wild salmon at levels they just can't survive. And so I've tried many things. I am enormously grateful to Paul Watson and the Sea Shepherd for providing this ship so that we can go and look at every farm again this year. We made many discoveries last year about the herring, about the disease in the farms. But I'm primarily here to serve the First Nations, who are the ones who will correct this situation and allow the wild salmon to come back. So it's a, a great honor to be here today uh, with Chief Willie Moon from the Zawadanik and aboard this ship. Salmon farming in British Columbia is crazy. We're using the oceans as a garbage can. And we know darn well that this can't go on indefinitely. I have scuba dived under open net pens. And I can tell you, there's nothing under there. I took a yardstick and shoved it into the feces and, and waste food up to my armpit, and I didn't touch bottom. It's like a biological desert under these net pens. Get them the hell out of the water. For some reason, the Department of Fisheries and Oceans doesn't really give a shit about fisheries or oceans. They're worried about people that want to use the oceans and the fish. So we're not focused the right way. What indigenous people tell us is the oceans are the source of life. And as long as the oceans are happy and healthy, then we will be able to live and flourish. But DFO and our government's focus seems to be the other way around. The oceans are a mess, and one of the ways that we're screwing it up is with open net pens, and, and that's got to stop. Prime Minister Trudeau and the uh, Canadian Fisheries Minister uh, Dominique uh, LeBlanc need to become personally aware of this problem. And a, a, even if they don't take our word for it or any of the speakers here today or any of the scientists that have uh, become involved in this measure and exposed what's going on, uh, then they should listen to their own commission, the Cohen Commission, which recommended 17 different articles to uh, alleviate this, uh, this horrible environmental and ecological problem. And not a single one of them have been uh, implemented. In fact, most of them remain unknown to the public. So our message that today is to uh, those two gentlemen in particular please uh, do what you are elected to do and what you are capable of doing and save uh, your own uh, environment here in British Columbia. First of all, I want to uh, uh, mention that uh, it feels a great, like a great honor to be uh, in the uh, presence of the ancestors of the Tsleil-Waututh, the uh, Musqueam and the Squamish peoples. And it's a very high honor for me to, uh, to travel here with all the wild salmon defenders um, from, uh, from upriver to come and uh, support this uh, Operations Virus Hunter that is uh, embarking on shining a bright light on, uh, on the ugly truth that uh, fish farms uh, do harm uh, wild salmon. They're malplaced on the uh, migration routes of the Fraser uh, river salmon and I'm a Stalo I'm from uh, Squaw First Nation and when I uh, go up the river and visit all my friends uh, all the different nations along the river too many of them are reporting about the uh, numbers of uh, pre-spawn deaths that are happening and they're looking at the salmon and some of those salmon have uh, sores on them. So many of those salmons are discolored with uh, yellow and, and, and green. And um, we're not crazy, we're not stupid people. We look and we talk with many people and we know, we've come to realize that fish farms have a devastating impact wherever they are all around the world. And we witness right on the ground what is happening to our wild salmon. The federal government has said over and over again that what we want to do is make decisions based on science. 
Last year, there was scientific evidence, hard scientific evidence that showed the harm that uh, those fish farms are doing not only to wild salmon, but to also the uh, herring and the clam beds. And when we witness the Muskomag Zawadenuk people issue an eviction notice to the fish farms in their territory, we stood up and we said, yes, we support them. We support them 100%. I am uh, proud to be a, a member of the Squaw First Nation and our chief and council have stood, stepped forward and sent those messages to uh, Donald, Dominic Leblanc and uh, told him, you know, that those fish farms have to go because they're threatening our indigenous Aboriginal rights to a, a salmon fishery. And we, it would be a sad day indeed if those fish farms were uh, to... Uh, be the cause of, of uh, the last salmon that uh, runs up the river. We want to, we have our first salmon ceremonies every year. We don't want to have a last salmon ceremony. For 30 years we have said no to the industry and 30 years it has fallen on deaf ears. We have two new governments in and we have asked a few times now for the Prime Minister to come and meet with my people to talk about how we're going to get rid of these fish farms out of our territory. And now that, now that we have a new provincial government, I'm calling on John Horgan and his group to come to my community and to meet with our people and talk and plan on how these fish farms are going to be removed out of our territory. We have never signed an agreement with them, so they're, they're, they are trespassing into my territory, and, and, I, and I get very fed up with them when they're when they come out and say, oh, there are, you guys are coming in to trespass into our territory. And yet, we have not given them that rights to that, to that land or the waters. We still claim and hold on to that title that we've never given it up. It is unceded territory, and our people are going to keep moving forward to fight until we get these fist farms out of our territory. On behalf of my nation, I want to say to the RV Martin Seen Gang, you're welcome into our territory to do the research study. We look forward to visiting with you guys when you come up into our village. Thank you, Kisla.